Hello, I'm Freelander. Welcome to the Game Trove. Ah! Bombs exploding everywhere. Uh, yeah, it's been quite the, uh, quite the day. Uh, most of my tokens took a big hit this morning. Most of everybody's tokens took a big hit this morning. Uh, I haven't checked on NFTs, actually. But I wanted to make an update video I on Chumbi Valley in particular. Uh, I did say yesterday that it could come back down here. It could even go to zero. Uh, I'm not sure if I said zero specifically, but it could even go down further. I'm pretty sure I said. And what do you know? So we were right about here when I was talking. Uh, <laughs> and then they dropped their economic update in the middle of my night, in the middle of Australia's day, I'm sure, uh, towards the end of the day in Australia, which is where they're based. That got the excitement all the way up here, or at least maybe the same buyer uh, took the opportunity to pump it up and dump it back down, probably, uh, at, a, at maybe a $5 million market cap you can do. Uh, whales can do a lot with uh with news events and stuff so anyhow so it went up here and then the crypto market as a whole got a couple scares today i heard rumor about biden and india but that's neither here nor there um talking trash about crypto obviously uh and so everything took a hit uh and possibly this has to do with uh, the confidence in the play to earn mechanisms not being high. Once, so people saw, ooh, the economic update is out, and then, uh, and then, oh, we read the economic update because that all happened in four hours. I or yeah, I wanna, I wanna actually change this to a fifteen minute, just real quick because I'm curious. Yeah, that. That whole can two candles that happened in a half an hour. That's that's pretty much market manipulation. I mean, the chances that the people with the most money in here. I mean that that a lot of people with the money in here all have the same reaction at the same time. I don't know. I think a whale was playing some games here. That is quite the chart. Uh, I must say, it would have been, if I had been up in the middle of the night, and if I had seen it up here, I would have taken profits. I would have gotten out, because that's like, oh, from where I saw it, that's all, that's not quite a 2x, but anyway, I'm rambling on now. This isn't what I was planning to talk to talk about but if you see a spike like this usually it's good to get out i mean sometimes it can keep going but there are also other opportunities so if you get a third again your money in 15 minutes oh man it's it's hard to leave that much on the table anyway none of this is financial advice forgot to say that at the beginning okay uh it's just just war zone time so my mind is just going Going to a lot of good places, actually. So, what did I do? How did I handle this? So, I bought in right here, actually, at 13 cents. Um, because I didn't want to miss uh, weekly, monthly, weekly. We have the space. Let's use it. I did not want to miss. Ooh. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. The ride all the way up here, hopefully, to where I first bought in. I, I, I bought it up here, honestly. This is where staking came out. I staked it. I think it was right here or so, maybe a little lower by the time you could unstake it. Uh, but I didn't take as much of a hit as I think I could have because I did um, did choose to buy some crates with it on the unlock they gave that option and I got some good stuff in there I didn't get a land chest though so anyhow uh, so I want I don't want to miss the ride the thousand X ride up to where I first bought it 
by the way, this is probably why people get so mad at Chumpy Valley is because a lot of them bought up here and sold down here. And uh, so basically nothing. Or even if they don't sell it, they don't think it'll ever come back. And so they're just mad at the project for even considering being in existence, apparently. So uh, the situation we find ourselves in, back to what we were doing. I hope you're finding this interesting. Just my uh, kind of candid thoughts on the market right now. So what did I do? Uh, not financial advice. Just it it helps to to see how somebody analyzing these markets. I use a combination of charts and news uh, to to kind of try to ride waves of uh, waves of success in the market, take some profits. Uh, I wasn't planning on taking profits until this happened. And then I would have taken some profits. I honestly would have. If I had woken up right here, I would have been scrambling for that sell button. But I didn't. Uh, I didn't wake up until it was way down, way down here. So I saw it first at um at ten cent or yeah, it's not ten cents. It's tenth of a tenth of a tenth of a cent. Woohoo! Uh, and so what did I do? What was I gonna do? I happened to have some USDT sitting around. Uh, I needed to transfer it to a couple places before I could make the buy. So by the time I made the buy, it was uh, in the 11 range. 0, zero, zero 11. So I, uh, so I bought some there. Uh, it's, a, it's a little down from where I bought it, but... Um, Here's why. I knew there was nothing fundamentally broken about the project. Now, I actually did this blind without reading the economic update first, uh, just because I didn't know if another spike like this was going to happen, and I kind of wanted in on that. So, how did I know it won't go down here, you ask? Ooh, good question. Well, I was pretty sure that there was nothing they were saying that, yeah, we're closing up shop. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't have put my whole portfolio in it, but uh, the USDT I had sitting there collecting dust, I was like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just going gonna, gonna to put this to good use. Uh, but anyway, even and I was okay with it going down here, just so long as the project's still building. It still might go down there. I don't know. Uh, my thought is it's probably going to consolidate and and start rising back up, especially after today's news, which we'll go through in a minute. So uh, that's that's kind of how I roll. If if I believe in a project and there's nothing and it's it's a low enough price. Note I didn't buy. I didn't buy any of this, like all the way down. I wasn't buying any of this. This is looking looking pretty promising, um, and it's cheap enough that I don't want to miss the write up. So I'm okay with it going a little cheaper, and I'm gonna buy. Um, now, will it reach all the way back up to that thousand X? I don't know. I have no idea. I suspect a game like this, if they do it right, could be grossing. Um, uh, millions upon millions of dollars, and when you're grossing uh, millions of bill millions of dollars through an in-game marketplace that uses uh, Chumby token, uh, your market cap's going to be pretty high. So that's my theory. I hope it gets to a thousand x. It could. Uh, not sure if it will. Maybe a hundred x. Hundred x would be nice. Uh, but anyway, so that's that's about all I have to say about price. Uh, going into some of the news on Chumby Valley. Those of you who don't know who, what Chumby Valley is, I I hope you're still with me. Uh, it's a it's a play to earn game. That came out or didn't come out. It uh, launched. How do you say it? Uh, started development two years ago, and. Uh, just exquisite, uh, all custom art, all uh, cute, fun-loving, crafting, breeding, battling, exploring, 
randomly dinner generated dungeons and stuff is is going to be really cool. I hope they can nail the combat, um, and if they if they can do that, they'll get a lot more gamers. But even without combat, uh, a lot of a lot of ladies really appreciate this kind of game. Uh, my wife uh, has definitely uh, delved into a couple of these types of games, and she says this is more advanced than them. And uh, uh, some of the dragons or uh, or fox type creatures called wadges have sold for in the millions of dollars. So if you get a really rare chumbi that everybody wants, then uh, you know it could be could be really good. Anyway, that's that's some of my theories as to why this is a good game, uh, and then some of my theories as to. Uh, I mean, they're 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 working. They're they're developing. They're they don't. They're not showing any signs of uh, of stress as far as as far as the team and all that goes. It seems like they're just uh, they're just building away. So, uh, loving that. Uh, they did downsize a little bit uh, last year or the beginning of this year, uh, just to just to make sure they could uh, pull through. But they've been making excellent progress, and uh, so uh, let's go through the econo economy token model update. Um, basically, Lucky Stars will just they're what they were going to be a two token economy. Lucky Stars never got released as a on chain token. Good thing it didn't, because uh, they're planning on that being strictly an in game currency. Uh, here's they're still working out the what play to earn will look like, but uh, here's my thought. Chumbi are what made Chumbi B Valley special. Okay, um, they're the thing. Chumbi and some of the other items that you can craft in game are going to be what you want. Not so much how much lucky stars you have. That's just never really what what gamers are really after other than to cash it out to something else like ETH. So my thought is it's okay if we're just playing to earn the NFTs. Uh you rent an you rent or buy an NFT or you know have a slow method of start free to play that you uh that you can eventually earn enough in game to breed a chumbi and uh and start breeding and selling different unique chumbi uh for chmb uh and the, and then you can and then you can sell that to other players for the chumbi token um that's how I would do it. They're still working on it, but that's how I would do it. And then that benefits. And then if you burn some of that, because CHMB, the token has a limited supply, then if you burn some of that with each transaction, some goes to the team, uh, some goes to staking. Uh, you know, you have a tax on transfers and everything. I really hope the team watches this. It, it, it'd be cool. Uh, I'm sure their economist is smarter than me, but um, but just uh, it'd be fun if they uh, if they saw some of these. Anyway, uh, the one the one caveat to that system is: what if Chumby get um, what is it uh, inflated? Uh, so everybody has all the Chumby they ever need. Uh, I don't think the inflation will be that bad uh, because each player will need a lot of chumbi in order to do what they want to do. And a lot of high quality chumbi would be preferable. So, uh, and then the breeding is going to be slow. Uh, since CHMB has a, has a limited supply, um, and you need it to breed, uh, that's going to slow down players uh, in, in, their, uh, in their play to earn, which is a good thing. 
because you don't want you don't want uh, uh, pump and dump on the play to earn. Like those who get in right away are going to earn something, and then those who come later aren't really going to earn anything. You you want it to be a consistent, steady economy. So, uh, I'm I'm super bullish. Uh, I just I think they're doing great things. Website coming out this week, hopefully. Uh, that that's what she just said in the in the weekly update, bi-weekly update. Uh, chumby spells, so your chum your player is gonna do thing everything pretty slow. Your chumby, you can have three of them following you at a time. Your chumby, which you can take control of, uh, can with their once they learn spells from the sage, they can do things uh, almost instantaneously, just like the time it takes to. So, uh, that's really cool. The Chumbi just have so much utility that uh, that it's it's just fun. It's just it's it's gonna be great. Um, uh, the UI is looking amazing, and yeah, uh, yeah. I think the website was the big thing I wanted to take out. This video has gone on for a while. I hope you've been enjoying it. I hope you're as stoked as I am about Chumbi Valley. Hope you can tell I am, and I'm not bothered at all by the uh, market conditions. Do I want the tokens I have to go way up while other tokens stay down way low that I might want to get in the future? Yes. Uh, am I okay when everything takes a bit of a plunge? Yeah, that's just fine. That's just fine. We'll pull through. Uh, just uh, be careful not to. Uh, not financial advice, financial advice, not financial advice. <sighs> I'm not a lawyer either. Uh, but don't, uh, I, I wouldn't put everything you have into any particular project because you never know when something might blow up. So uh, this is looking, looking pretty amazing. All right. Uh, Big shout out to Army of Tactics. If any of you are still watching, um, they've they've been uh, they've been supporting me a lot. Uh, the the community there, and uh, hopefully they tolerate me uh, me covering some other stuff uh, on occasion. So um, be back to making some content on that in a little while. So all right, that's all I have. Freelander.